tapered so it will squeeze the seal and the hoop ring as it goes in. So if we have this in upside down, you can feel quite a ledge in there. So we have this a nice transition. And I put this uh, high pressure seal with O-ring in there, as square as I can. And then I just use this tool to push it in by hand. It goes in very easy. And then the hoop goes in next. And it has a taper on one side that fits over the high pressure seal. So it can only go on one way. If we try to put it on the other way, it doesn't fit down over the seal at all. So with our taper looking down at the seal, I put it in here as square as I can. And I put my tool on it, make sure that it's still square. And it's in. And we can unthread this, take it off, and it should look like that, flush with the end of the cylinder. So we'll go ahead and do this next one. We've got a nice transition going in there. High pressure seal with the O-ring. Push it in by hand. Then our hoop with the taper looking down. Square it up a little. And we're in. Now we'll flip these over. We we'll use this big o big uh, washer here just as a flat surface to put it on so we don't knock that seal back out when we install this one on the opposite end. Next goes in our backup sleeve. No lubrication on this, it just goes in dry. So that goes down in there. And then we use our installation tool again. We can check and make sure that it's on correctly. We've got a nice smooth transition there. Again, the high pressure seal by hand. And our hoop ring. And it's in the backup backup sleeve is going to have a bit of free play in there and that is acceptable. Uh, the free play is meant for seal expansion so it, it needs to be there. So don't worry about that. We'll flip this one over. Backup sleeve in. High pressure seal. Ring. All right, now you can see here, this is going to go on over the plunger, and this is where the buttress rides here. So this is what holds the high pressure seal in place on this end. And the new buttresses go on, and this is a very tight tolerance, so it it should just barely wiggle when you put a new one on there. All right, push it all the way into the end bell. And next we're going to blue goop the threads on the cylinder. Turn that over. We'll use our big washer here and screw this part of the tool on. What I'm just going to do is hold the seals in place as we push it on there. So that's ready to go on. 
And then we take a rag and twist up here and put over the plunger. This is just so if we're pushing on the cylinder and it won't go, won't go, and then it goes, this is just to prevent the threads from running into the threads on the end bell. So we just hold this as square as we can and push it onto the plunger. The high pressure seal you will see, it moves down into the cylinder slightly and that is acceptable. It will reposition itself when we start running it. So now we just turn it in. Okay, we're hand tied. I'll take this off. So our next step will be some blue goop on the other threads here. I'll smear that around on my finger. And then on the end, around this high pressure seal, we just have to get the surface where the check valve is going to meet up here. It's going to go in like that. And we just want where this surface meets up with the cylinder to have some blue goop on there. So next, we'll get our end cap, and this is the check valve that we made earlier. We'll put some blue goop around the back side of this shoulder here, where it's going to meet up with the end cap. And take out the outlet body. Put it in from the threaded side and push it in until she bottoms out. And then I tip it up just a little bit as I put the outlet body in so the poppa doesn't fall out. Then we will thread this on. to turn this in till I feel the check valve starting to go into the seal and then come out and push it straight in and the thought behind that is we would rather have the check valve push straight in and stay stationary in the seal rather than turning in with the end cap Okay, now we have this as our, our fitting for a quick disconnect. I'm going to put it in really, real quick here, just so we can position our check valve. 